People in Israel are voting in parliamentary elections with the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu aiming to become the country's longest serving leader. Opinion polls suggest his Likud party is trailing a centre left alliance and the race has been much tighter than expected. In his campaign, Mr. Netanyahu has focused on national security. The opposition Zionist union led by Yitzhak Herzog and Zippy Livni accuse him of trying to distract from domestic problems and the cost of living. Well, let's uh, get the very latest now from our correspondent, Mark Lowen, who's following those elections for us in Jerusalem. Uh, Mark, how much are these other issues, domestic issues, uh, chiming with voters? Well, really, Anita, when you look at the opinion polls, the overwhelming priority for voters is to try to tackle the domestic issues, the socio-economic issues, those kind of bread and butter topics like the cost of living and cost of housing that have soared in the last few years. And that is where the opposition believes Benjamin Netanyahu's Achilles heel is. They believe that if they can show that, that, the, that the domestic issues uh, are where his weakness lies, now is the time, they believe, uh, to win this election and to oust him from power after six consecutive years as prime minister. But he still has a lot of support on issues like security and the coalition arithmetic works in his favour because there are simply more centre and right parties that he could cobble together in a post-election coalition to try to stay in power. So lots of issues to digest. Let's uh, discuss some of them with two different voters here. Uh, Shimon Posner, who is a voter for Mr Net Netanyahu's Likud party and Karen Abrams for the far left Mered's party. Um, Shimon, let me start with you. I isn't it time for a change after six years of Benjamin Netanyahu? No, I don't believe it's time for a change. I believe it's time for Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu to have more power to carry out the policy that he's been voted to carry out. But as critics say, look, this is a man who has led Israel to dire relations with the U.S., uh, that he led Israel into a war with Gaza last year that achieved very little, that the cost of living has soared. I mean, he has plenty of critics. I think that's a matter of perspective. People who are not on his favor or not on his side will critic whatever he does, good or bad. Okay, Karen Posner, you're probably uh, uh, you're, uh, Karen Abraham. Sorry, you're probably a critic. You, you're voting for the far left Meretz. Why? Why are you attracted by that party? Um, I'm voting for Meretz because Meretz has the strongest track record, more than any other party, for supporting and promoting legislation to promote human rights and social justice in Israel, to protect all of Israel's citizens. And presumably, if you're voting for the left, you would look for you look to Yitzhak Herzog as, as a prime minister. What is it that attracts him over Mr. Netanyahu? Um, I do think it's time for a change. I do not believe that Bibi has had Israel's best interest at heart, not internationally, not domestically, and I do hope that we will see a change. But Mr. Netanyahu says he's the man to protect Israel, to give, it, give the country security. I think that it's time for Israel to look towards finding a greater balance between security externally and security internally. And briefly, lastly, Shimon Posner, I mean, security is a key issue. Uh, Mr. Netanyahu said yesterday there would be no Palestinian state under his watch. I mean, that's not going to go down well with the international community, is it? Uh, I, I think politically correct uh, and the importance of world opinion is very important and very good. But I think Israel has to worry about its own security and safety before it worries about world opinion. Okay, Shimon Posner, Karen Abrahams, thank you both very much indeed. So plenty of issues to play for. Uh, and today is really the start of a long process, Anita, because it could take several weeks to build the coalition needed to give the governing coalition over 61 seats in the parliament. So it'll take six, seven weeks possibly uh, before we find out who could lead this country going forward. Okay, for the moment, Mark, thank you very much. Mark Lowen.